Remind yourself to stay with the breath. All the way in, all the way out, each breath as it comes in, each breath as it goes out. That's the work of mindfulness. And the alertness watches what you're doing. Ardency is what tries to do this well. And when you get these qualities together, they bring the mind to concentration. And we like to think of concentration as a state of mind where you don't have to think, where everything is very quiet inside. But to get the mind into concentration requires some thinking. And as you're doing it, you have to tend to it, you have to look after it. And John Fuang was, would say that you have to have a teacher inside all the time, always reminding you what to do, what not to do, and keeping track of what you're actually doing. And if you're straying away, to bring you right back. I was in Brazil one time leading a retreat, and one of the retreatants asked why is it that her meditation went much better during the guided meditation than when she was just meditating on her own. I don't know what kind of mystical answer she wanted, but I said basically it's because in the guided meditation, the person giving the guidance is doing your work for you, doing the work of your mindfulness. So you get helped alone. But you can't have somebody reminding you all the time. You have to learn how to remind yourself. This is why those technical ways of getting the mind to calm down are not really all that useful. Because you have to understand your mind if you're going to get anything out of the meditation beyond just resting. It is nice to rest. But you're also trying to develop this internal observer, training it to be a good teacher. So that wherever you go, you've got something good inside to remind you of what you should and shouldn't be doing. As the Buddha said, that was the duty of a teacher, to give you a sense of what should be done, what shouldn't be done, and how to learn how to observe for yourself, calculate for yourself what is proper to do, what's not. That way, he said, the teacher gives you protection. So you need this internal protection to remember what the Buddha said, what the Ajahn said, and then to apply it all the time. That way you have protection all the time. Otherwise, he said, you're bewildered. You don't know what to do. And you just kind of cast around for whatever comes up in the mind. You run with it. And that can pull you in any direction at all. But if you have clear instructions, then you can remember them and apply them. Okay, you've got a teacher inside to make sure that you stay safe. So try to develop this inner teacher as much as you can.